Hey, Pastor Allen here. Anchor of Hope is our ministry. Hey, if you want to know a little bit more about what we're going to be doing here on YouTube and what I'll be doing with my videos, devotionals, teachings, and ramblings, stick around with us for just a minute, okay? Pastor Allen here, Anchor of Hope Church. Uh, listen, I want to just share a little bit with you about what we're going to be doing, kind of an introduction. I'm going to be doing some, probably some teaching, some devotionals. Uh, you know, I'm going to be rambling a lot, maybe ranting about the things going on uh, in this uh, nation that we live in, the United States of America, which I still think is a great country. It's just a bit off course at the moment. Still praying it will get back. Uh, I've pastored for 25 years, been blessed to travel all over the world with ministries in China and Guatemala and many other nations, but, but that's irrelevant, honestly. I just want to get real with you. I just want to be a, a pastor that's real. Churches have not been real, honestly. We've built institutions and buildings and programs, and, and uh, we've made it all about the, the stuff, uh, the show, if you will, and Listen, all, all that in and of itself is not bad. I know, man, we've, we've built this institutional church, if you will. It so oftentimes is driven by the corporate, by the business side of things. I don't think that was ever God's heart. It was always supposed to be driven by the Holy Spirit, led by Christ Jesus himself. And, and uh, listen, I know, pastors, we get trapped. Our paycheck comes from the, from the church, from the ministry. And so before you know it, we're pleasing people and we're tickling ears and we're trying to attract more people because we need more money to do more things, to attract more people. And the, the ball just keeps rolling, honestly, and getting bigger and getting harder. And yeah, we touch some people positively along the way, but quite honestly, uh, we do a lot of harm as well. And uh, so, yeah, I just want to get real. I just want to talk about some real stuff and uh, and share a, a, my heart uh, from a pastor who's not perfect, never claimed to be. And those who set themselves up to be uh, more spiritual or having arrived, man, you know, yeah, those pastors just need to be taken down a bit. And the enemy has a tendency to do that. We don't have to do it for them. Uh, listen, I'm not trying to make enemies or offend people by what, what I do here, but the reality is the truth hurts, and the truth, truth hurts me when my family and friends have to tell me the truth about myself, my heart, my behavior. I don't like it, but, man, I need it, and I'm, I'm sure glad I've got people around me that love me enough to tell me the truth. So I'm going to tell you the truth about some things, but please hear me. I'm not telling you the truth on issues in this nation or issues with the church or with Scripture uh, because I've got them all figured out. I'm going to tell you what a mentor of mine told me years ago. He said, Alan, just look in the mirror every week as you pray about what the Lord would have you share with the congregation or with the people that you meet. Just look in the mirror and say, where are you messed up? Where do you need correction? Where do you need help, encouragement? Uh, where are you struggling? What answers do you need? Just answer the question for yourself. And since you're human and your audience is human, uh, you're going to hit the nail on the head more often than not. So I've tried to make that a habit in my life. So the things that I teach and share is not because I've figured it out and I'm trying to put that truth on you. I'm just sharing what I'm struggling with. Maybe we can figure it out together. Um, so, hey, if you want to tune in and, and uh, walk this journey, have this conversation with me, man, I'd love to have you. Uh, if you don't, hey, I understand that as well. There's a lot of good uh, folks out there to listen to. Uh, a lot of good folks out there to make fun of. And hey, maybe I'll become one of those in your life. You're welcome. But uh, either way, uh, man, I just want to get real and, uh, and have a place where I can share some things with you and rant about some things, maybe bring some things into proper perspective uh, because there's so much going on in the world. I'm not here to attack anyone. I'm just here to tell the truth from what I believe is true, God's, God's word. Don't care what version you use. I really don't care. Listen, we've got the Holy Spirit. He'll either lead us into all truth or we're, we're facing much bigger problems than just what version of Scripture we might happen to read. So, um, hey, I look forward to getting to knowing you. I look forward to you getting to know me uh, with warts and problems and, and, and yeah, all my, 
all my issues as well. But hey, if you want to share those things together, find some answers together, uh, come along and there'll be opportunities as we move forward for you to comment or ask questions. Hey, I'll do my best to share my heart on the issues with you, whether the, whether they're right or not is not uh, the point. I don't claim to be right about everything. Uh, but hey, love to have you along if you'd like to join us. So God bless you. I do love you. Don't know you yet, but hope to get to know you some. And I hope you get to know uh, my heart uh, as well. So, hey, welcome. Welcome.